and welcome to OAP Gaming and Marvel Midnight Sun. So, we have to talk to Tony. Okay. Not to be the nagging old lady, but I told you not to push too hard. Okay. Fiasco. And it would have been far worse had Spider-Man not arrived when he did. Hey, for what it's worth, I think you did okay out there. You got some decent hang time, even uh, given you were wearing, what, 70, 80 pounds of chainmail? On the stark scale of reckless yet daring heroics, I give it a solid 6 out of 10. Don't worry, you'll get there, with a little help. And where exactly am I going? Oh, that's the real question, isn't it? Sky's the limit for you, my friend. <laughs> Unless you'd be up for wearing a space helmet. You do breathe air, don't you? You know what? It doesn't matter. I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. I suppose I could keep you company on the way, seeing as our rooms are in the same direction and all. Besides, no one should be forced to walk the hallways around here alone. So, here we are. The old room, huh? It's, uh, it's not bad. Functional. Solid construction. Almost cozy. Love the antique furnishings from the early Mephisto collection. Full transparency, Hunter. There's another reason I asked to join you here, other than my abject terror of this entire facility. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink in your quill. Um. But I do not have a quill. Even better. <laughs> Relax, Tony. I simply jest. It is an ink derived of the spider lily flower. Red spider lily flowers. Of course it was. Obviously. With just a touch of Manphibian blood. For power. Ha ha! Another zinger. And we'll just leave it at that. Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face off, and then proceeds to feast on my soul. I'll leave you to it. May your sleep be filled with pleasant dreams, Tony. Right back at you. Oh, and if you hear the shrieking of a grown man... Please ignore it. It's just me, walking to my room. Open Tony's present, okay. Hi, I'm Tony Stark. But if you're hearing this message, you already know that. When I'm not saving the world, I solve the world's problems with technological means, like the one you're holding. I call it the spark. A secure information and communication device built only for superheroes. It does all the usual. Private messages, pictures, and calls for some reason. But it also comes with access to Superlink, a private social network exclusively for your cape-wearing, world-saving compatriots. You might ask, Tony, aren't you just repurposing a failed product from your communications division? If you do, I'll revoke access and let everyone else know you're a jerk. I call it the Wonder Man rule. Okay. What we got here? Okay. Explore your room. Inspect the journal page, closet, and whatever. Journal page. So where will that be? Oh. Aunt Sarah wants me to practice my letters, and so here I am. But every time I dip this pen in ink, I just want more and more to go out beyond the yard into my secret spots. I left my dolls scattered about before the storm, and I'm afraid they're hurt. Do dolls hold grudges? Agatha says they don't, 
but I still feel sad for them. My old journal. Maybe it is time I start writing in it again. Never was enough room for my armor in this thing. What do we do now? Oh, I'm painting. We were all so happy then. Go to sleep. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I missed you too. Let her enjoy the moment. She's been visiting your door every morning for the past 300 years. Oh, it must have been so hard on her. Not just her. I suppose that's why I might have been a little curt before. A little? You already made the ultimate sacrifice once. Maybe I'm in no rush to see you do it again. We do not choose our destiny. But we can choose to duck. First lesson you ever taught me. And still the most important. Especially now that you have all these eyes on you. I have noticed. To these people, you are a being of myth and legend. A grand hero of old. And they're right. You are a hero. But I also know the battle that rages within your soul. It's not enough that you are a hero. You need to decide what type of hero you will be. I'm sure there will be plenty of opportunity for that in the days to come. For now, I would head to the forge. Our new guests are eager to show you something. This was a lot easier when it was just you and I beheading the Dark Legion as we traipsed through the woods. Don't forget about Agatha. I never could. Charlie was restless all night. So I've got a 300 year old dog. We'll talk more later, but for now, Stark has requested. Hang on. Super link. Something's been added. Okay. Charlie Warley puppy face. <laughs> I get arcane knowledge and credit just for petting him. Do I get it every time? Let's try that again. You are the best girl. You know that, right? <laughs> oh, okay. So, where am I? 
Okay, so go. Ah. Next thing I know, the sanctum is airborne and covered in slime. I don't get it. Strange couldn't just, I just wonder, magic can his I... way in. Something about the whole alien thing. Oh, you can save in here as well whenever you want. Oh, that's nice to know. That explains so much. No wonder he gets so strange around me. Now? Think you can tell your friend inside there to turn it up a few hundred Kelvin? I could. However, it might shatter the containment spell, preventing him from incinerating this facility. I think we're good. And just in time. The forge has certainly changed. Right. Caretaker said this all happened after your siesta. What spooky castle would be complete without its own Babylonian demon-powered furnace? Sumerian fire demon. His name is Babs. Oh, now it all makes sense. Well, once you get past the esoteric terror of the situation, I've found this thing actually has some uses. Molecular bonding, breaking down evil gamma serums, fashion accessorizing. Mm, yes, speaking of... Oh, right. It's ready. Your armor seemed to offer minimal protection against the venom creature. I noticed. Yeah, I thought you could use an upgrade. Well hammered, well fired, Caretaker did not mention that you two were such skilled smithies. Yep, I am Iron Smithy. Perhaps you should just try it on. Still think I could have used a cloak. Damn near indestructible. And we even got the size right. Not bad for our first collaboration. I still think it could have benefited from a cloak. Hunter, your new attire suits you quite well. But how are you holding up on the inside? I know it's easy to look upon me and simply see the universe's utmost authority on all things mystical and macabre, Hunter. However, in addition to being Earth's Sorcerer Supreme, I am also your doctor. You mean a physician of the medical arts? You jest. I assure you, Hunter, I do not jest. They don't call me Mr. Strange, now do they? Except for Tony. Your awakening ritual was admittedly a touch more chaotic than I had originally intended, and well, after your violent encounter with Venom, my oath to Hippocrates compels me to check in with you. Simply put, how do you feel? Um, like I woke up on the wrong side of the drain. I'll go with that one. You did not awaken me to discuss feelings, Doctor. I am ready to do what I must. Ah, yes, you mean... Complete your prophesied destiny and bring about the destruction of your mother. I know some psychiatry professors at my alma mater that would love to talk with you. How you feel is just as important to me as your mission, Hunter. The two are innately interconnected, more than you know. I, for one, do not know if I will ever feel 100% again after the events of yesterday. I still can't believe what transpired. The sanctum, all that knowledge, Wanda, lost swallowed whole by the black mouth of that foul venom creature. With all my resources, all my gifts, I should have seen this outcome spelled out in the sacred geometry of this universe years ago. But I miscalculated. Uh, don't blame Lilith's yourself, I think. power has placed a dark shroud over us all, Doctor. You are not alone in this. Your words are appreciated. Still, I must not allow the underlying truth of the situation to become shrouded as well. It's not just the Sanctum Santorum that was lost yesterday. It was my protege, Wanda. She was... is... 
My charge, my responsibility, and I failed her. But I am determined not to let that happen with you, Hunter, which is why I am here to answer any questions you may have. Perhaps my wisdom may benefit you more than it has me thus far. Tell me about your sanctum's wards of protection. I have never heard of a protection spell that powerful. In your time, I'm sure you've encountered a variety of minor wards and protective spells. The Sanctum Sanctorum was shielded by one such incantation, but greatly amplified by the convergence of ley lines. And no one has ever broken the spell? Ever? There's always a first for everything, but I had honestly never imagined a scenario in which the wards could be broken. Perhaps it was arrogance on my part, but Lilith is among the more cunning enemies we've ever faced. How did Wanda come into your care? Wanda's story is quite tragic and perhaps not mine to tell. There was an accident on the Abbey grounds not long ago involving Agatha. That must have been some accident. Agatha had been teaching Wanda, hoping she would learn to control her immense but very raw power. As their training progressed, Wanda was encouraged to push herself further. Eventually, she pushed too far. That creature on the roof, you have run into it before? Unfortunately, yes. In the simplest of terms, Venom is an alien species living in symbiosis with a human known as Eddie Brock. He's something of a fixture in New York these days, but typically his hijinks are confined to harassing Spider-Man. How does Eddie feel about this arrangement? He seems to relish the experience. And under Lilith's spell, they've clearly become more cohesive than ever before. Let us talk later. Visit whenever you like. It's not often I get to converse with a true legend. I want this over here. Credit, six credit, okay. Can't interact with that. So let's have a look around this abbey. Let's talk to Tony. I don't want to talk to Tony just yet. I've already spoken to him. I want to explore what's over here. That is something. We've got something for that. Can we get up that ladder? Can we climb it? No. Okay. Anything on here? No. Nope. What about over here? Aha! The star. What is that? Nova rises up into the starry night sky, surrounded by stars that represent the support of his team. This card symbolizes serenity and hope for the future. The star tarot card. Oh, one of 22, okay. Anything here? Nope. What's that? I don't know. So to, ah, inspect. Ah, I see. Can we get some more knowledge? If you get knowledge for doing the simplest of things. I've been doing that. No doing demons it. to report here, boss. Good to talk to Tony. I hate to admit it, but somehow this ancient forge puts any arc reactor I've got to shame. Who would have thought mystically bound demon power would be so damn energy efficient? Or carbon neutral? Certainly got that new suit of yours done a lot faster than I expected. Speaking of, what's the verdict, boss?
Yeah, why is there a demon in the forge? Tell me about this demon. Why is it there? Well, you would probably know more about that than me. I'm still working on a way to keep track of everything that goes bump in the night around here. Whatever they've got trapped down there. It's hotter than hell by a few thousand Kelvin, very pissed off, and really good at weaving synthetic microblends. But tools are just one part of the equation. You gotta know how to use them, too. You were out, what, 300 years before we woke you from your eternal rest? I'm betting you have questions, so ask away, Hunter. Uh, yeah, what is so special? I take it this new version is a technological marvel? Impact-resistant carbon composites, some patent-pending alloy mesh, and a few touches from Dr. Spooky over there. And hey, the built-in communicator means we can talk to each other without sending a raven. So, it is a marvel, then? Lightweight, nearly indestructible, and modular enough for future upgrades. Frankly, I wouldn't have used your old suit to wax the Mandarin's car. Um, I don't know. Let's try is that. Is all this magic a threat to your new technology? It might surprise some people to hear this, but I do like some things with rules. Isotope decay, magnetic fields, and gamma <coughs> oscillation make a lot Excuse more me. sense to me than eye of newt, bat wings, and a sprinkle of sunshine. <sighs> At least they did before everything changed. I cannot help but feel partially responsible. Well, I wouldn't take it personally. We were detecting changes in both magic and science months before you woke up. But yeah, things have definitely hit high gear since then. Seen anything strange around here? What, other than my roommate? Boom! Roasted! <laughs> but on a more serious note, this place is legitimately haunted. Mirrors look back at you. My room rearranges itself. And worst of all, magic cats. The great Iron Man is not scared, is he? Let's just say I'll be more comfortable once I've studied the problem. I feel like I'm living in one of those paranormal investigation reality shows. What sorts of things are you doing in here? Oh, that's right. You were out a while. Basically, we've got a gigantic demon inside the magic box here that provides near limitless power for whatever we might need. Sounds insane, but sometimes it's easier to just go with it. Uh, yeah, can we use this against Venom? Okay, so why not magically create a way through that symbiote shield? Have you ever known it to work that way? We can't just wish upon a star here. We need to know what we're making first and put together the right components. Otherwise, I'd have already whipped up Strange, a new personality. You must have an interesting origin story of your own. Well, just your typical American boy. Pops was a founding member of the military industrial complex. Mom, a famous socialite. Tragedy struck when I lost them both in a car crash, which turned out to be a hit from a rival corporation. I spent my early teens at MIT, trying to clear my head. I was all set to follow in Dad's footsteps as a war profiteer. Then one day, fortune shined on me, in the form of some errant shrapnel that lodged itself just above my heart. So I did what anybody in that situation would do. I built a super suit and started fighting crime. I guess we have all had difficult childhoods here. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I can't tell you how hard it was to memorize all that at Skrull Sleeper Camp. Just kidding. Or am I? Thanks for catching me up on things. Anytime. Oh, and speaking of things. Remember that uh, creepy gamma goop you found from that hopped up Hydra soldier? Well, I gave it a peek and it explains a lot. If you have a minute, meet me at the anvil over there, and I'll walk you through it. I promise it'll be worth your time. Okay. The anvil. Fascinating. Of, of Agamotto. Okay. So 
Where is the anvil? Oh, over here. Now, I doubt advanced gamma thermodynamics was a hot topic at ye olde demon hunting school, so I'm just going to give you the condensed version. I appreciate that. Closest I've ever seen to this substance is pumping through Bruce's veins. Part gamma accelerant, part unknown element. Calling it COIL for now, given its unique atomic structure. Man, I love acronyms. This stuff is more volatile than Nick Fury on a Monday morning, but Hydra doesn't seem to mind. They are using it to get stronger. Exactly. A few drops would make your average salamander look like Fin Fang Foom. Thankfully, with a little help from Dr. Spooky and our haunted oven over here, I think two can play at this game. You are not suggesting we start injecting ourselves with it. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Though I can see some future applications for my energy drink line, I was thinking we apply this stuff towards upgrading our equipment. I like where this is going. Just give me a little time here and I can whip up some pretty fun toys. How about we give Hydra a taste of their own gamma-powered medicine for a change? What have you got for me, boss? Tony Stark can use the coil material recovered in combat to create hero abilities. Only one of the abilities on offer can be selected, so choose wisely. I'm okay. pretty sure Charlie left a steaming coil in the hallway. Third state of matter, indeed. Analyze, Kyle. We've done that already. Oh, no. How does this look? Reveal new abilities. Okay. Uh, this one. Heroic. Quick strike. Or state. Life steal. Ooh. Forceful not back in any direction. I think. That one. Life steal. How long did you say you were exposed to this thing? Hunter, when you have a minute, come meet me in the yard. You have gained a copy of a currently equipped ability. If taken to the yard, duplicate. Duplicate abilities can be combined into new, more powerful ways. To the yard. Talk to Blade in the yard. Oh, nice. So we've now got to go talk to Blade in the yard. Ah, there we go. Welcome to the yard. At least that's what we're calling it these days. Caretaker put me in charge of your training. Too bad she didn't listen to me yesterday. Now that we know what we're up against, I think we can all use the practice. Any questions? I did, but they are about you. Right when it's time to train? From all Sarah told us about you, she never described you as lazy. I learn faster if I understand the person who trains me. I can respect that. Go ahead. Tell me about the Midnight Suns. All right. Why did you join? Vampire hunting is a solitary affair. Guess I never found the right team. Is that all? No, but that's all I'll share for now. You really want to know? Put in the work. If I trust you, I'll have more to say. Okay. What can you tell me about the others? Nothing. Ask them yourself. I'm not asking you to break anyone's confidence. Fine. Which one? Um... Tell me about Nico. She's the youngest, but she acts like she's in charge. Why let her act like that? She's usually right, and she keeps us on track. 
I didn't think we'd get along, but we wouldn't be the Midnight Suns without her. What makes you say that? She has a lot of heart, and that's why we let her. Anybody else? Yeah, let's find out about Robbie. What about Robbie? He's exactly what he seems. Well, sort of. He's open with people, easy going. Sometimes that comes across as dopey, but don't get the wrong impression. He's quick to make friends, and once he does, he's your friend for life. So don't let him down, or I'll hold it against you. Anybody else? Might go find out about all of them. What do you know about magic? Keeps to herself. That is it? She's a private person. Until she lets you in, that's all you need to know. When does she let people in? At her own pace. Respect that, and it'll happen faster than you think. Anyone else? Yeah, the caretaker. Tell me what you think of Sarah. Well, there are few people I tolerate, even less who I like. Sarah, I respect. She sees the big picture, and we're a part of it. I'd follow her to hell if I had to. And from what I understand, we may have to. I am surprised she commands such respect. I'm surprised that you're surprised. You know what she's like more than any of us. I do. Anybody else? Nobody else. Sure. Uh, let's go here. Do you have any thoughts on the team as a whole? I think we're the only ones aware of the danger Lilith poses to this world. And I think we're pretty green. But enough training will get us through it. Speaking of training, we doing this, or are we gonna keep wasting daylight? Uh, not yet. I had more questions. Of course you do. Can I ask about you? I guess. Is your name really Blade? Is your name really the Hunter? Yes, it is. Yes? <laughs> oh, I... Really? Your mom, before she became the mother of demons, looked into your cradle and decided to name her firstborn child the Hunter. That is how I understand it. It takes all kinds. So... Is your name really Blade? No. What is it? It's private. Is it embarrassing? No, the hunter. But I only share it with friends. You do not consider me a friend? Not yet. Don't take it personally. How did you become a Dampier? You say that like I had a choice. I was born this way. How is that possible? A vampire bit my mother. Problem was, I was still in the womb. I'm lucky I was even born. Don't know if that's how it always is, but that's the way it went down for me. How long have you been around? I don't exactly know. I think of myself as mid-twenties, maybe. I lost a lot of time. Much of the last century was a blur. I have occasional memories, almost like coming up for air before being yanked back down into the depths. What happened? I killed a lot of vampires. I hadn't lost my mind exactly, but I got into a rhythm and never stopped. Never had a reason to stop. Not until I met Caretaker. And then? She gave me a reason to stop. What brought you to the Abbey? Caretaker. About ten years ago, she brought me back to the real world. Gave me a place to stay until I came back to myself. Did she ever say why? She said she thought I'd be able to kill more vampires if I was acting on more than just instinct. But I know it was more than that. She gave me safe haven here at the Abbey. Something I'd never known. Must have read half the books in the library by the time I headed out. So when she reached out and asked me to be part of this weird little club, of course I showed up. Thanks, Blade. 
Mm-hmm. Sure. We have upgrade and ability. Let's do this. If a hero possesses two copies of an ability, they can combine to create them. Okay. So, oh yeah, it's him, isn't it? Yes. So it's live steel. Take live steel. Plus one training experience. I still say we should have built a firing range first. Talk to Captain Marvel. Okay. And they are Hunt. over there. But this video is getting quite long. So I think I'm going to end it here. We found out a little bit more about our companions. And no doubt we'll continue to do so. Uh, so we'll continue with that. Uh, in the next episode, hopefully we'll be able to get a mission done as well uh, So we actually get some fighting done uh, So if you've enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It does help this small channel If you have a comment good bad odd indifferent, please put it in the comment section I appreciate them all and maybe even consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell that way you don't miss Any episode of this game and any other I post uh, so I hope I will see you in the next episode. Until then, thank you so much for watching. It really is appreciated.